one of the most obvious things uh, that we that happened today was feeling the 12s. God, dog, what a great what a great impact they had on this game. They had, these guys had eight false starts in this game. And that, that ain't, that's not us. We had them do that. That's they can't get they can't get coordinated because of the noise. And uh, what a great factor. It felt like the what it feels like to be here at, at, at Lumen. And uh, uh, that was a thrill. It was a thrill for our young guys who hadn't, hadn't heard it like that, hadn't felt it like that. And they understand why we talk so much about it and why it's such a factor in, in all of that. So anyway, uh, really, we've got to give a lot of credit to our fans being part of this game. Just like they've been in the past, that was really obvious today. Um, what I liked about this game coming off of last game as well is, is playing 60 minutes of football. Um, you know, to play all the way through the end, both sides of the ball, playing, playing, winning football. Offense scored 25 points in the second half. I mean, that's huge, and uh, that's execution. Gina was on fire in the second half, and the guys were all making their plays and all of that. Uh, so I, that's the big stuff. You know, finishing really well, playing 60 minutes, and and this young team understanding what that feels like and what that takes, and, and uh, as well as playing here. Um, the obvious stuff, I mean, you, you can ask all the questions you want to ask, but we were lousy on third down, and we were lousy in the red zone scoring. And uh, we, I don't think we might have scored seven times in the game, but we all the field goals, you know, Jason Myers has, has a record day because we can't get our first downs. We have to convert on third down down there, and we got to just capsule, capture the, the, the opportunity of the drive. It's, it can't get any more obvious than that. So that's where we're focusing. That's what we have to continue to. It's carrying over a little bit. We've seen this for a couple of weeks. It's not good enough. And, and so uh, we're going to need that to really get better. And so we, we, we already have uh, ideas. We can't wait to get back and work at it. But um, uh, another note about this game was the guys that were hurt all week long, that couldn't play, that were able to get to game day and answer the call. Um, Dixie, uh, Julian Love, uh, DK, uh, Jay Reed. You know, those guys didn't get much work at all. And, and uh, they, they just would not play. And so they made it through their injuries and, and, uh, and sucked it up and they had, had all had really solid games for us. It's a great a great visual for our young guys to understand what it takes. And, and uh, so uh, well, another thing I, I'd like to mention is that we're, we're, we're getting this running game in order uh, on, on the defensive side. To give them 44 yards a day, that's a team that likes to run the football and they were determined, wanted to do it, and then and after a while they couldn't. Uh, it's a great job by our guys, and uh, that's that's just something that we have to hang on to and be part of our team. When we rush for 146 yards, 33 carries, that's the same thing on the other side of the ball. Those are the kinds of things that we have to make staples of our play, and then we can start to find the consistency that we need. So I'm really fired up about this day today. To be able to have that kind of a rushing day when at one point you had four backup linemen in the game for you guys compared to what you started the year with, know, just the way they played I mean, last week. I know. That's such a statement about really about the coaches keeping those guys together and, and getting our, our, our guys that step in to, to play first, you know, front level ball. We didn't run the ball real well at times early. It didn't look like, you know, it looked like we might be struggling, but. Uh, uh, really, Kenny and, and Zach, they were really on it. They're so different and so uniquely different. Uh, I love seeing Zach show himself today and, and uh, show you how tough he is and, and how explosive he can be. It's a great asset for us. And so um, that was a really good part of our day. You mentioned Jaron not being able to practice much, just the impact he had, sack and a half. Oh, like yeah, eight. sack and a half. And but it, when he got it to, you know, really to ice the game kind of was just big time come through. Um, he, he is such a marvelous uh, return to us, you know, to get him to come back to us. He's such a marvelous factor. Um, you know, you wouldn't know how much he uh, affects the guys around him uh, with his, his wisdom and his background, but it's his toughness and his resolve. He's, he's unbelievably important to us. And had a great game. I'm sorry. Sure. Ryan stopped around eight all starts. Did this feel like the championship style? It's, yeah, and rush for 146 yards, heck yeah. Scoring points at the end of the game, finishing, yeah, it did. And, and uh, I'm really pumped about that. The, the first game was such a, uh, it's such an outlier. I can't even imagine how that happened. But uh, to go finish 60-plus minutes last week and to come back again this week, um, that's really a, a big statement for us to build on. And we're going to need it. We're going to need it all the way down, you know, down the schedule. But um, it's a young team that's coming together and finding themselves, and we can really make something of that. How'd Red Bryant do you get the team fired up yesterday? Red Bryant did great. Yeah, it was a stellar, classic Red Bryant at, at pregame. Uh, I told him, okay, give the pregame speech like you used to, you know, so it didn't take him two seconds to jump into character. How was that having all those guys at the walk? It was events? really good. I'm so glad we won a game and, and played a game like that uh, with the fans being part of it and, and coming from behind and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I just, 
it, it was really a thrilling weekend, and way more than I thought it would be. I, I didn't know that it would feel so emotional um, and, and connecting with the guys because there's, they, they love this, their recollection of this time that we spent together, and they've all carried it with them, and it's been a big part of their life, and uh, they deserve to you know, cherish and relish in all of the memories of that, and they are doing that. And so it, it, just, it, it lives on because of that, so it's really special. Speaking of the fans, after that back-to-back -back false start, or the back-to-back -back false start, you turned around and gave a pretty emphatic salute to them, uh, to the crowd. Oh, it was so obvious. It was so obvious that they were, they were, you know, they were, they were uh, kind of running the show, you know. So we were just playing off them and, and flying with them, and um, that it felt it felt more unique than it's felt recently, and and uh, uh, for for whatever reason. The fact that they responded like that in this early part of this season, and after we screwed it up last the last time we were here, that's where we start moving forward. And I'm hoping that we can continue to to fill them up, and they can fill us up with uh, you know the love they have for the Seahawks. What, what happened with Draymond Jones? Um, his hip tightened up. Um, I don't know we don't know the extent of it, but his hip was was got tight. You said it's a young team that's coming together. How much has them trusting each other helped this process? It's, that's the pro that is what the process is about. It's about learning who you're playing with, understanding what you can count on from the people around you, and then being accountable, and then being that. You know, finding your way to performing like we need you to perform because we know you. And uh, that is what's happening. And there's just growth opportunities. That's what I made a big deal about last week because that was such a challenge opportunity to be in. We'll grow with that one. Coming back home and doing it again after we had kind of screwed it up before was a huge growth opportunity for us. And I really feel like we can trust that we understand that you got to play 60 minutes of football and sometimes even more. What do you think of Jake Bobo's touchdown? Loved it. Loved it. I was so fired up that Jake got, got that. Um, we, we missed some opportunities to him today, but he's going to be a big factor. Um, he, he did some really good things in this game today. I, I couldn't see, you know, how intricate it was at the back line, but I'm sure he did it perfectly. That's just, he would figure out how to how to get inbounds. It was a great little play, great call, uh, great play, um, throw by G, and, and also to finish it off like that. That's that's the kind of stuff he does all the time. You expressed your support or your confidence in Jason after the misses last week. You know, oh, I love, yeah, I, yeah. What a great what a great bounce back. Yeah, I mean he's a great player, and that was something else. This this was this was him. What did you think of Witherspoon's day? What did they tell you about the DPI that they called on? Oh, man. That was a huge call in this game, wasn't it? I mean, it was such a crucial time, and they thought that he grabbed his jersey. You know, if they see any grab at all, they have the, the right to call it. That's kind of how they kind of defined it, and that's what the guy said he, he saw. Um, so, you know, good call on his part if that's what happened. Um, I thought Spoon had a terrific game today. You can see him. He's all over the place. He, he, he factors into the game by being around the football to make the wins. And he, you know, he's not going to stop them all, but he stopped a bunch today, had a couple uh, pass breakups, and I think 11 tackles we, we saw, you know, right off the top. So uh, he's, he's big time, yeah. The two-point conversion, did that uh, Holy cow. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't see it very well, but I, did Tyler make it look like he, the ball wasn't coming? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah that was a thrill. It remind you of Luke Wilson's a little bit? It had a little bit of that in it, yeah. And just lucking out, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, uh, Luke. Daryl Taylor, is he okay? Um, uh, yeah, he got hit in the shin, and uh, he had an old injury there, so it just act it aggravated him enough that we had to hold him out. And Trey Brown, what, what happened with him? Concussion. So what do you think, then? I think it's a bit of Jackson kind of going on right now. Oh, and Mikey did great. I mean, he, he just tapped a couple balls down. It's so classy, you know, in the way he played a couple of them. Um, that we're lucky. We're lucky that we have that kind of depth, and uh, we'll we'll come back. We're going to get a bunch of guys back next week. It's going to be really exciting to see these guys come back to us. So um, Jamal will be playing. Tariq has a great chance to come back. Um, there'll be some other guys that show up. The, the offensive, uh, it would be um, Charles. You know, has a real chance next week. So we'll see how that works out. Is there a touchdown with a just kind of miscommunication? Yeah, we screwed it up. We, we busted it. We busted the coverage. Sorry if you answered this, but 146 yards rushing. Yeah, I'm thrilled about that. The commitment to it. You could see our style, you know, from, from our two guys. They're, like I said, Greg, you know, they're much different, uniquely different, you know. But, man, they both got explosions in them. And, and uh, uh, the physical run that you see Zach make, again, that's kind of how we've already learned about him you know, to be. And so when it happens again, man, he just reinforces it. Uh, I'm really fired up about those two guys. And, and uh, that's the kind of day. It's the right numbers. We, we completed, I don't know how many. 23 something pass or something like that. We ran for, we ran 33 times. You know, that's, those numbers really, they stand for consistency. And so that's what we're going to, you know, we try to stay with it.